we're getting ready to replace the um, solenoid pack inside the transmission. What happened was, is that the transmission started slipping and it threw a P1715 code. The solenoid pack in these trucks is known to go bad. I picked one up from Ford, so we're gonna put that in here and uh, show you what's involved with doing it. Before we get started, remember to subscribe to the channel, ring the bell, and subscribe to all of our notifications. That way they'll get a heads up when we upload a new video. All right, so we got Tony's 06 Explorer and we're gonna put a solenoid pack in the transmission and we're gonna drain the fluid. We got a 7 8 wrench. We're gonna pull the, the main plug out of here and we're gonna get the fluid. We clean that pan and we, and we save in the, the fluid. We bought new fluid, but you know, we serviced this not long ago and um, now we're having a code um, P1715. Something like that, yeah. Yeah, and um, it's leading towards the solenoid pack. And when we take the solenoid pack out, we'll be able to see if there's any brass shavings from the planetary gears. And we're kind of going to know the condition of the tranny. So we're going to pull this plug right now. And this plug has a stanchion in it here. And there's a special tool that we're going to take this T30 plug out. Um, and take this out and then we'll put a plug in here and that's how we force the fluid with through a suction gun back up in and we'll, we'll show you that now the fluids nice and clean on it which is great um, so we bought six quarts of fluid we'll let you know how many we need to do it and the transmission pan bolts are 5 16 or so eight millimeters so we're gonna start taking those down we'll get the pan down the gasket is reusable um, you know, we got a little over 100 on this vehicle, so Tony wanted to decide to buy a new gasket. And even though we've replaced the filter not too long ago, um, you know, we're going to change that as well. So, um, we're going to get the pan dropped down here, and um, we'll start going with that. We're going to use a quarter drive. These things just tighten up so much because the, the, the gasket has little rings in them, so you can't over-tighten the gasket. And I'm sure you could over-tighten it, but, you know, you don't want to. So we're gonna get a little extension and we'll start cracking these loose. Crack all of these loose and then we're gonna zip them down with the gun. I don't like to put the gun on them. We don't wanna break any of these. That'll make for a long night. Yeah, it will. Uh, even though we just had it off, we still don't wanna be. putting the, trend, the vehicle up in the air, we're trying to keep it level because when we go to put the fluid back in, you know, they want it to be around 120, 140 degrees. Um, you know, so you're gonna run it for probably, you know, five to eight minutes when we go to refill it. We'll talk about that, but um, you, you really need the, the, the vehicle to be close to level. We're just taking the bolt down. If I keep the bolt in here, it's gonna kind of help me guide this thing down. I kind of would like to take a look inside here and see what we're looking at. So let's go bring this over onto the bench and see if we see any material in here. It doesn't look like there's any heavy clutch material in here and there's no metal and that's a really good sign. And this fluid, like I said, we just changed it. So, you know, we can leave this in there. If Tony wants to drain it, we'll drain it all up. The magnet's right here and it's got a little bit of fuzz on it, but nothing nothing crazy we'll clean that off and um so the gaskets reusable but you got a new one and um see these are the metal things that i'm talking about in here you can't really over tighten these down so um just want to snug them up anyways so all right so we'll get the uh start getting the solenoid pack down on it so we got a, a plastic cover on here covering our 10 millimeter bolt and we just had this tie wrap that we slid up that went around the neck of it right here took that off we're going to take this off now, right where my finger is, there's a 10 millimeter bolt here, and that's the electrical connection that's on the top of the solenoid. So we're gonna get in there with a swivel gear wrench and unbolt that right now. We're gonna take a look at our wiring here. And this connector is kind of fucking beat up. Oops, sorry, my French here, people. This thing's been fixed before. Look at the electrical tape on this thing. 
<laughs> that's all full of water. That's water and condensation in there. So we're gonna have to take a peek at that. Damn, this has been broken. Yeah. Okay. Looks like we're fixing that. Lucky Tony bought a connector for it, so we'll take all this tape off, and then you know we're gonna have to pull down on some slack in this harness here and see how we can make that repair. And uh, we'll go from there. We're gonna take the torque bits down, the T30s. Right back what we got, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bolts to take down. Looks like there's one short one here, one short T30. So we'll start taking these all down and they should be all the same length except for the short one here, the last one. Tony bought an OEM motorcraft um, Ford, excuse me, um, solenoid pack. And when we take it down, we want to look inside these veins in here to make sure out of his that there's no brass material. Because, um, you know, that would be coming from the planetary gears when we, and we want to make sure that ain't the case. So the sad thing, we're going to crack these all loose first. And there's 71 inch pounds to torque them. You want to have a nice socket to do this. You don't want to strip one of these out. I'll tell you, that seems like a lot more than 71 inch. <laughs> That's the short one right there. Alright. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we send it a seven. Where's the seven? Okay. Alright, we're gonna get the gun. And zip these all down now. and they're all, all the same length. And then we're gonna get the shorty. Right there. Now we got the electrical connector on top. Got all our bolts out, okay? And we should be able to wiggle this thing around and take it down. Missing a bolt. Yeah, we are right there. And let's get some O-rings that come up through the case. What's holding it in is the electrical connector. Can't really push down on that electrical connector. So I'm gonna try and just get something in here and pry a little bit, very gingerly, and see if we can get the seal to crack loose. About to see the o ring coming down. There you go. All right, so we just put now this is really what we need to look at. Shine a light in here. We need to look inside here to make sure there's no um, debris in here. Now, the, look at the fucking water. my friends, look at the water on the plug on this one. Yeah. This is more than likely what our issue was. And, you know, and the pins. Yeah, and I don't know if I'm missing a pen right there, and I think I am. I think that we're missing a pen right there. We're gonna bring this over to the bench and compare it with the other one, because this is what it looks like to me is what's going on. I think we got a pen that rotted out on this, and this is probably good news for Mr. Tony. <laughs> so right there is the pen missing, so. Yeah. Man, this thing is all rotted, Tony. Yeah, it's pretty Look bad. at the condition of this. Now come over and show him the condition yeah, of the other I'll one. I'll show you the new one. Look at how nice the pins are in there. Yeah, this is what it's supposed to look Holy like, guys. Holy smokes. 
Yeah, that, that other one's just toast. So, so this is the shit show that Steve and I are up against. So we got 12 pins, six and six, right? For the new one. And look at the one we're taking out. You got one, two, three, four. The sixth, the sixth one is missing, right? The fourth one's starting to rot the tip off. And then on this side, you have three out of the six. No, wait, wait, one, two, three, four. You're missing two pins on this side. So out of the whole 12 pins, you're missing three pins. That's so that's very we awesome. discovered this from the connector. Now Tony <clears throat> went ahead and bought this connector, which you know I was hoping we didn't have to put in tonight. But luckily he bought this thing because this thing wasn't leaving here without this. <clears throat> So now he's got this new pin, and it comes, and he'll tell you, he got it on Amazon, and look yeah. at the connector, how nice it is, right? It's all sealed up. Oz is broken, okay? And then it's got all the colored wires. So, you know, we have 12 pins to repair and shrink wrap, um, and then we're going to tape it all up nice so that there's no water getting in there. But water came in through the top of the connector, and it rotted all these pins out. Yep. And that's what happened. So when we put this back together, you're gonna torque this in an even pattern coming out. You're gonna stagger it, you know, one, two, um, three, four, um, five, six, seven, eight, so that you'll get, you know, you, you're always going from the inside outward. And then we're gonna do a final torque of 71 inch foot pounds. So we brought our inch pound torque wrench home so that we can do that. So. <coughs> You know, a lot of guys just put tranny fluid on these two O-rings here. I'm going to put just a thin coat of dielectric grease on them, and we're going to sit this solenoid pack up in place and get all the bolts caught, and we can change the... He want, Tony wants to change the, um, the filter, yep. even though, you know, we just did, but we're going to change the filter, and we can put the new pan. We can get everything back on and tight with the solenoid pack torque, and the last thing that we can do is get the connector on and bolt it down into place because the connector has a very square rigid um, thing so it's not like you can screw it up okay and what i'll do too for you guys is i'll put a link in the description of the video for this connector on amazon and uh, also a solenoid pack i'm gonna bolt this back up we got our one short bolt over here i got some long ones i've uh, cleaned out our hole already everything's nice and clean in here okay and um we're gonna um i put a little dielectric grease on the edge of my thing of my o-rings yeah and we're gonna we just pressed it up in place and we'll get some bolts in here you ain't saving any time if you run these up with a gun and strip one i'll tell you that so nope Again, a little shorty, <clears throat> a little shorty over here. See, I wasn't sure it went, but that's what that one goes. Yeah. So we got our torque wrench in here, and we're going to start with the center bolts, kind of work our way out. 71 inch pounds. eight okay so starting with eight again and i'm just going to double check all of them there's one so here's two three four 
five, six, seven, eight. You just want to make sure that you get these all torqued. We tighten them down evenly. Um, if that solenoid pack is not sitting properly, um, there's fluid passage in there, you're gonna lose pressure, it's not gonna shift right. You have to make sure that you get it mounted up uh, nice and even. So you notice we put all the bolts in it and we snug them up by hand. We didn't run anything up with the gun. Um, it doesn't make save time doing that with this job. So we got them all snug, we torqued them all, even padded, working our way from the center out. Um, and that's all set. So now we're just gonna go on to doing the transmission service. I'm not sure if we've already done a video on it. If not, we're gonna do one right now. Change the filter. We're gonna clean our pan all down, get our pan up in place. And our electrical connector, which is our repair, is over here. And we're gonna be able to repair that. And I just changed that, that transmission filter about 10,000 miles ago. But Steve knows as well as I do, we've been doing this for so long. All it takes is a little piece of debris floating around on that fluid to hang something up. So while you're already in here, you're better off just to bite the bullet and to change the filter out. Even if it's recently been done, uh, you don't want to kick yourself into something that you can avoid, you know? So we got a couple of 516s bolts were cracking loose. same length so that ain't gonna matter anything Put these right here and we're gonna wiggle this down this is gonna make a little splash okay not so much so we got a couple of o-rings on it and we're getting our new filter now and, you know we're inspecting in here we're making sure that the holes are clean where the o-rings are ride you know where they ride, that's good, that's nice and clean. And we don't see any debris or heavy clutch material. The trinity looks looks good, the fluid condition was good. I know we just changed it. We're just gonna take a couple of drops of oil, put them around the O-rings here. And we're gonna push this up in place and line these up. Now we can bolt it back up. Sucker! <laughs> Oops! Yeah, that was, that was, we've gone this far, we don't get in tranny for it. Uh -huh. Hey, you know what? Make sure you have a bolt in here. <laughs> right, Steve? Yeah. yeah. Usually they don't slip off like that. Yeah. Let's just put oil on the seals. Yeah, yeah, you know what? Right? Yeah. <laughs> no, that thing can do it. Right. <laughs> and I nod my head, you hit it. Yeah. <laughs> the second fell down again. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's going to stop fighting you. Yeah. Alright. All right. You just hand tighten these up. This one's all hand tight. I'm going to wipe it down so it don't trip on us while, we, while we're doing our electrical. And it took us longer to put this connector on than it did to change the solenoid pack on the damn transmission. So we had... 12 wires on this plug and they use 11 of them and we had a bunch of rotted pins that we showed you so we cut this in here and we can just show you how kind of neat we did it 
and you know everything looks factory now and to, to get it to this point took us some time so now now we, we had to snap our cover off of this because we didn't know the of course the wires on the new connector were not color coded perfectly to the other one so we had to snap the connector off and go pin my pin my pin to make sure we put a black mark on the front we put the wires side by side so we know and we took our time to do it so now this connector just goes up here we're going to push this back up in place yeah. okay we're going to tuck this harness up roll it over here so that it's not hitting the shifter linkage and we're going to have to tie wrap it up to something here so it doesn't hit the shifter cable um, and we'll get this all tie wrapped down at the place all right so we wiped everything down clean took the magnet out wiped it all out just cleaning the pan up Told me to get a new gasket we're putting on I'm going to put a little grease on it, like we always do. And then we're going to bolt this on. We've already got our filter bolted on. And notice that our new gasket doesn't quite look as nicely made as our old gasket, <laughs> but we're going to use another one. That's the Ford gasket right yeah. from the Ford dealer, so yeah. that's, that's what they're giving you. Yeah, so let me get some grease and put it on here, and we'll throw this thing together. Okay, we like to put a thin coat on so that when we torque the gasket down, we'll see the little grease come out the side. We know it's evenly tightened. And this stuff will just basically wash away. Steve's little trick to uh, know that he's torqued right, right? Sticking my gaskets on. Okay, we got our hose lined up. We'll do the same thing on the top of this gasket. You know, we did that wiring repair and we would have never been able to get in there um, if we had this pan in, the port in place. So luckily we started fixing the wiring first, changing that connector over. All right, so we're gonna go over and what we wanna do is, so that saves us some time, we're gonna pour some training fluid in this thing and fill it up. Um, and we're going to go over and we're going to set the thing in place and Tony's going to ke ke catch a couple bolts while I'm holding it up. That's going to save us time from putting fluid back inside it. Right, so we put a transmission pan back into place. Just kind of went around with the, uh, the ratchet wrench and hand tightened all these bolts. Just snug them up. You don't have to crank down on them because you don't want to snap them. But just snug them up by hand. Go in a crisscross pattern. Then go all the way around one last time to make sure everything's uh, snugged up hand tight and that um, it's not going to leak. So we're taking the T30 out and taking the center plug out because this has a stanchion in it. And I'm going to thread this in here. You know, it does. a suction gun. Fits on this. This is where you fill the transmission pan. Yeah, goofy as it looks, but. This I'll, is really it. I put a link to that little nozzle in the description of the video. You can buy them on Amazon, so I'll put a link right over to it. So this is how you top off your fluid. And you gotta put a bunch in there until it comes dribbling out of the hole right there, right Steve? So we're gonna put the car down. We're gonna start it and then see when the fluid stops leaking out. If we run it for five minutes or so, we should be up to temperature. And that's what our goal is. All right, we're checking the level. If that leaks out, we gotta put some more in. Village. Ah, Seems <laughs> has got a case of the dropsy site. It's been a long night. It has been a long night. Should have done this three hours ago. Okay, so we gotta add some more. And then maybe they see him sucking up his nipple. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna use my crappy suction gun. There we go. Okay, so once you've got it filled, once it stops coming out of this um, 
temple right here, it's going to be a uh, level, right, Steve? Yeah, yeah, we're going to take it out and put the plug back in because I'm tired of getting full of foliage. So once it starts dripping, you're going to put the little uh, screw back in. T30 torx fit. Snag it up. That's all she wrote. So that's pretty much it guys. If you have any questions, leave a comment. I'll reply back to you. Thanks for watching.